an AI agent that can browse the internet, click buttons, fill out forms, and complete tasks without you ever touching your keyboard is no longer a concept. It's live, open source, and already running in a real browser. Hugging Face has just released the Open Computer Agent a tool that marks a major shift from passive AI that answers questions to active AI that performs actions. While big names like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft are making headlines, this release is gaining attention for a different reason, and it could quietly redefine how we interact with the internet moving forward. What exactly is Hugging Faces AI Agent? Hugging Face's Open Computer Agent is part of a broader research initiative called Small Agents, which focuses on building lightweight, autonomous systems capable of completing useful tasks with minimal overhead. The Open Computer Agent serves as a demonstration of this vision, showing how AI can interact with the web using a real browser interface, rather than relying on back-end APIs or scripted automations. At its core, the agent simulates how a human interacts with websites. It launches a real browser instance, visually processes the screen and uses virtual mouse clicks and keyboard inputs to perform actions. This means it doesn't just extract information, it actually navigates web pages in real time. For example, when instructed to find directions, the agent can open Google Maps, enter locations into the appropriate fields, and display the route. If prompted to book a ticket, it can visit a travel site, input search criteria, and attempt to proceed to the booking flow. These interactions are not back-end API calls. They happen through front-end interaction, allowing the agent to work with many public-facing websites, though not flawlessly across all. It's worth noting that this tool is still in its early stages. Hugging Face has released it as an open-source demo, primarily for developers and researchers. While there is a live version available, demand has occasionally caused performance issues and limited availability. Overall, the Open Computer Agent is not a commercial product. It's a research-focused prototype that reflects ongoing exploration into agentic AI. It helps illustrate where the field is heading and what the current capabilities and constraints look like when AI moves from conversation to action. How it works in real time. The Open Computer Agent works by pairing a natural language interpreter with browser control capabilities. When you give the agent a task in plain English, like, find the nearest pharmacy that's open right now, it breaks down the command, identifies the websites or apps needed to complete the task, and then starts executing steps using a browser instance. The browser itself is real, not simulated or abstracted, which allows the agent to interact with live, constantly changing websites. Using a combination of computer vision and DOM analysis, it recognizes buttons, text fields, images, and links. It can then use a virtual mouse to click, scroll, and type as needed to fulfill the task. This form of action is very different from something like a traditional chatbot. Most bots stop at answering your question or fetching an API result. The open computer agent takes it further. It acts. That said, the agent does have limitations. It cannot bypass logins, complete CAPTCHA tests, or make real transactions without human intervention. In some cases, it may misinterpret screen elements or get stuck navigating modal pop-ups or dynamic content. These shortcomings are expected in early-stage agent development and are part of the reason why the tool is presented as a demo rather than a finished product. Still, this agent shows that large language models are increasingly capable of translating language into action, not just in text, but through direct interaction with the visual web. This shift opens up new use cases. Think automated travel booking, schedule management, simple research tasks, or step-by-step -step tutorials that don't just explain how to do something, they do it. Why it stands out from ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot. While many AI tools offer some form of web assistance, Hugging Face's Open Computer Agent introduces a fundamentally different model. OpenAI's ChatGPT, even with browser capabilities enabled in GPT-4 Turbo, can visit web pages and summarize their content, but stops short of real interaction. It doesn't click buttons, type into forms, or navigate complex interfaces. Its role is to retrieve and present information, not to act on it. Google's Gemini, particularly when integrated with Chrome, helps users interpret content and switch between tabs. It enhances how users read and review information, but doesn't attempt to complete tasks within the page. It's focused on comprehension, not control. Microsoft's Copilot Studio, on the other hand, is designed for automating workflows within enterprise environments. It can perform scripted tasks across apps like Outlook or Excel, but those actions rely on existing integrations and structured data flows, not open-ended interaction with arbitrary websites.
Hugging Faces Agent is different in three key ways. It's fully open source, it uses a real browser interface, and it's built for general purpose automation. It visually processes websites like a human would, interacting with unstructured interfaces, even when no backend access or APIs are available. This gives it broader applicability across unpredictable or dynamic websites that other tools can't easily navigate. Just as important is the transparency. Unlike proprietary systems from OpenAI or Google, Hugging Face has released the full code base. Developers and researchers can examine how the agent works, adapt it for their own use cases, or build entirely new capabilities on top. This openness positions it as a foundational tool for those exploring the next generation of agentic AI, one focused not just on understanding, but on execution. The power of open source. What makes Hugging Face's open computer agent especially notable isn't just what it can do, it's how openly it's been released. Instead of packaging it behind a paywall or embedding it inside a larger commercial product, Hugging Face has made the entire project open source. That means anyone can access the source code, examine how it functions, and adapt it for their own use cases. Developers can modify the agent to handle specific workflows, test edge cases, or integrate it into broader automation pipelines. This level of transparency stands in stark contrast to tools from OpenAI, Google, or Microsoft, which are typically closed systems with limited user control and no access to the underlying code. Open source in this context isn't just a philosophy, it's a practical choice that encourages rapid iteration. Researchers can build on top of the agent, correct limitations, or develop domain-specific variants. It lowers the barrier for innovation in a field that's still evolving and gives smaller teams the ability to experiment without building from scratch. By releasing the agent openly, Hugging Face is contributing to a wider movement that sees AI not just as a product, but as infrastructure others can expand on. That distinction could accelerate how fast agentic systems evolve in the months ahead. AI that takes action. For years, artificial intelligence has mostly operated in a reactive capacity. You ask a question, it provides an answer. You request a summary, it delivers a paragraph. Whether it's ChatGPT, Gemini, or other conversational models, most AI systems have been built to respond, not to perform tasks. But Hugging Face's open computer agent is part of a broader shift toward proactive AI. Systems that not only process information, but also take action based on user instructions. This evolution has the potential to reshape how people interact with the web. Instead of manually switching between tabs, repeatedly filling out forms, or navigating through multi-step menus, users could delegate those actions to AI agents. These agents aren't just designed to complete a single task, they could eventually handle multiple processes simultaneously, streamlining repetitive digital chores in the background. One area where this could be particularly impactful is accessibility. For individuals with motor impairments or other disabilities, traditional browsing can be slow, difficult, or inaccessible. An agent capable of interpreting natural language and performing interactions on their behalf could significantly reduce those barriers. Beyond accessibility, AI agents may soon manage a range of real-world tasks, including booking appointments, organizing calendars, completing job applications, or registering for events. As these systems improve in contextual awareness and task coordination, they could begin managing entire workflows, handling administrative tasks across various websites while the user focuses on higher-level decisions. This marks the beginning of a transition from AI as a passive assistant to AI as an active delegate. It introduces a model where the user no longer has to execute every click or input manually. Instead, the AI can carry out instructions and navigate complex interfaces, potentially transforming how people interact with digital systems across industries. From assistant to operator, the launch of Hugging Face's open computer agent marks a clear turning point in how we think about AI tools. Instead of being limited to answering questions or summarizing content, this new wave of AI agents is designed to interact, visually, dynamically, and independently, with the web itself. Browsing is no longer just something humans do manually. With tools like this, the concept of hands-free browsing is moving from idea to implementation. Yes, the current agent is early stage. Yes, it still needs human help for logins and CAPTCHA. But the core capability, translating natural language into real-world browser actions, is already here. What sets this apart isn't just functionality. It's the combination of open access, real-time interactivity, and a human-like interface that can click, scroll, and fill out forms. The industry is still in the early days of agentic AI, but the foundation is being built now. 
whether it's Hugging Face, OpenAI, Google, or independent developers. What we're seeing is a clear direction, AI that doesn't just advise, but acts. And just like search engines changed how we find information, AI agents like this may soon change how we get things done.